Welcome to today's edition of I'm So Bored. It's happy hour and today we're going to learn about how to have a glass of wine to unwind from our hard day of working at home. So first, let's find the wine. I'm head over here to my little refrigerator. Pull out a bottle. I could talk in my French accent, but this is a bottle from Napa and that would be silly. I'm not gonna tell you the name of the bottle because I don't wanna be horking somebody else's wine unless they send it to me for free. I will say some friends of mine like this wine so much, they named their dog Jarvis. So now this is a Cabernet Sauvignon Blanc. There's no Blanc, it's just Cabernet Sauvignon. So, but I just pulled it out of my fridge, which means it's way too cold. I'm not keeping it at the right temperature. Probably needs to come up a few degrees before we can crack it open. So while we wait for that to get to room temperature, let's talk about what glass to pour it into. So in most homes, right, a lot of us will use the juice glass. It's functional, fits in the dishwasher with no problems. You don't have to worry about breaking the stem and you can substitute other beverages in between. This is not what we're using today. In some homes, we might go more with a traditional wine glass. Now, unfortunately, this is not actually a red wine glass. And um, while as cute as it can be, it's probably not gonna fit our quarantine needs. So we're gonna mix that one. In some homes, we literally are just looking for whatever glass makes us happy. Uh, again, functional, can fit in your dishwasher. Perhaps not quite the wine glass that you're looking for. And since many of us shop at Costco and or Sam's Club, we have the big gulp, right? Again, that functional element, stemless. It's okay to be warming it up with your hands when you're dealing with a red wine. Now, how much should we really be pouring, right? That's a big question. Typically, a five ounce pour of wine would look like this in our big gulp, right? Now, that is not what all homes serve. There are some homes that serve a little bit more. And that would be their standard pour for the evening. <sighs> this would be the quarantine pour, right? And while a good exercise in the amount that we need, my bottle of wine is still not at room temperature. Still not, not to room temperature. So what do you do in these situations? There are, there are a number of different things that you can do. I find what works best is the microwave. You put your bottle in, and lay it down. You gotta keep it from rolling. Oh, wait a minute. It's a foil wrapper. I don't wanna burn the house down. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Um, I guess I could submerge it in water. Fine, I'll switch over the laundry and hopefully by the time I get back, it'll be done. Sometimes room temperature just does not come fast enough. Mom, the laundry's done. Some things can wait.